everyone tonight I have for you two bath bombs from unique commodities and these were obviously from her st. Patrick's Day collection but they were really cute and she wanted me to give her um, my honest opinion on some of her bath bombs and so I asked her which ones gave the best show and she said that her clovers did so I asked her to send me the clover one um, which is very sparkly and I received two of them and I'm going to go ahead and test both of them. They were five dollars and they are scented in coconut and lemongrass and it's a very unique um, kind of cool scent. Um, I thought it smelled kind of minty almost um, but it's kind of it's just kind of cool. Um, very nice scent. All right so I'm just going to go ahead and put this one in and I think it's a floater. I hope so. If not, we can still try with the second one. But I just really felt like I needed um, something nice tonight. And because it's very shimmery, I wanted to try this one uh, that came in. So here we are with Unique Commodities and her clover bag. foam coming out of the bottom so it didn't really it, well it's not really floating as well as the other one for some reason that's just oh not at all this one doesn't want to float at all <laughs> but we do have this beautiful one over here which is actually putting on quite a pretty show I'm not sure what this one is not behaving but let's concentrate on this one until I'm able to get this one to behave on this side. Very pretty. I'm going to stop and take a picture of this. Very shimmery. hold this one up since it doesn't want to actually float. So we're going to continue to have a show. The show is really cool and it has something in it. This one's continuing to put on a show with something. Very pretty. Doing a really pretty job, but it just didn't want to float for whatever reason. it in the water exactly the same way that I did this one um, and obviously she can create floating bath bombs because and I'm glad that I did them both so you can see that her bath bombs do float um, so this was a good test of her bath bombs to put them both in together because had I chosen the non-floating one I would have thought that maybe she doesn't create floating bath bombs but she does because if the proof was in the first one, that is still floating over here. Um, not sure what caused this one not to float. But even though it's not floating, it's still putting on a really nice show. And this one actually has pink, which the first one did not. which is why I've concentrated on this one at this point because this one's still putting out some very pretty um, colors.
sometimes bath bombs don't float and it's not necessarily that the bath bombs aren't supposed to float, it's just sometimes they don't until you've held them up for a moment. This one on the other hand just does not want to stop floating and this one waited a very long time before it would actually float. the scent. The bath bomb is very pretty and really shimmery which I love. The bath art is very pretty. It doesn't have a lot of colors but it is a St. Patrick's Day bath bomb so we can't really expect it to be anything but green right because it's St. Patrick's Day um, and it's doing what it should. Gold and green are the colors that I would most expect out of a St. Patrick's Day bath bomb. On a show, regardless, it's got a lot of shimmer. The scent is nice, and I expect that once I uh, put my hands through this bath water, there's going to be a lot of gold shimmer in it. And it's long lasting, obviously, because this thing is still over here trying to put on a show. This one is, I think, there's just a little bit left. Yeah, there's nothing left over here, actually, it's just a little bit. But I expect, oh my gosh, this color green is almost like you guys remember. The shampoo prel, that green, that like fluorescent greenish of the shampoo prel, that's what this looks like. But um, I'll show you in a minute once this thing slows down. But it's been going quite a while for a very small bath bomb. And I don't know if this is just a sheeting on top. Oh my gosh, oh, this whole this is really distracting. It's like, oh hell, this whole thing is just a sheet of glistening gold. Um, I don't know if this is just the top layer left and it's just trying to just give its last hurrah. I almost don't want to disturb it. It's really a bit impressive for a small of a bath bomb than it was. It's been going for quite a while. And it's still, it's still putting out blue color. still sell it like in some Walmarts. Um, there's this shampoo called Prell. And I like Prell actually myself. Um, but it will wash the oil. Strip your hair from any oil. <laughs> I mean it will wash your hair completely stripped of anything. Um, but I love the smell and I like the color of it. So sometimes I still buy it. But it really is a retro 
shampoo. And this is the color of it. And I think this thing's filled with glitter. I don't know if the camera can focus in on it because it's just like it's hard to get the gold when it's green. But there's tons of glitter in here. And I think that one has disappeared. I think it finally has gone away. So let's see if I can capture the gold. I'm trying to focus in here. It's gonna be kind of weird for me, me to be doing my St. Patrick's Day bath bomb theme. But I mean, I always have to theme it up. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at all that! I think I actually found a bath bomb, by the way, guys. There it is! It's still going! Commodities, unique commodities. This uh, shop not only sells bath bombs, but also um, handmade jewelry. But um, and included a piece of handmade jewelry as a gift in my in my order, actually. But look at all that gold. Look at that. All right, and so this is unique commodities. And this was their. It smells amazing. And I think you guys should check them out. This was my first time purchasing, and I will be back. Talk to you guys in the next one.